Hey guys, today I'm coming at you barefaced to share the new Shop Miss A microfiber wonder blenders. I have been aware of microfiber blenders now for a while, but to be honest, I never really pulled the trigger on one because I thought, I don't know if that's something I really want or need. But when I saw that Shop Miss A came out with ones for $1.55, I was like, yes, now it's okay for me to try it. And these are supposed to be like a fuzzy blender for the skin. They're supposed to have tiny little microfiber bristles running across each sponge, which to be honest, sounded a little bit creepy and crawly when I first heard it, but definitely intrigued me. And these are supposed to provide not only an airbrush-like finish for the skin, but also absorb 70% less makeup, which <gasps> I think is pretty cool. Anything that's gonna make my foundation last longer and save me money, I am all about. And I'm not gonna be comparing this to another microfiber blender because to be honest, I don't have another one to compare it to. This is my first time trying this guy out, but I am gonna compare it to my regular everyday blender, which is the Shop Miss A Paw Paw Super Soft Wonder Blender. This has been like my ride or die go-to blender for I wanna say over a year now. And I just wanted to compare them to see how I like the microfiber in comparison to my regular everyday sponge. If maybe I like the way this blends my foundation out better, if I find that it has like smoother results or better results, and also to see whether or not this actually does absorb less makeup. So if you wanna see how these guys perform in action, how they blend out, how they work, as well as my overall results and thoughts, then go ahead and just keep watching. So here's what the teardrop looks like. It is a very like soft, fuzzy kind of feeling. It feels so weird when you run your finger across it because you can actually feel those little like microfiber bristles moving along with your finger, which is so weird. It kind of feels a little bit like a faux velvet. That's the best way I can describe it. Right away with these sponges, I can tell that the microfiber blenders do have a little bit more of a firmer texture than the regular super soft paw paw blenders. I'm not sure if you can tell when I squeeze them, but the regular AOA blender is a little bit more squishy. That's not to say that this is hard by any means. There are other beauty blender like inspired sponges I've used before that were so hard, AKA the e.l.f. one, which I hated. Um, it's nothing like that. It just has a little bit more firmness to it. Okay, and so here's what they look like wet. Um, the super soft blender has become more of like a light fluffy type of texture where the microfiber is definitely softer than what it was when it was dry but still has a little bit of that resistance in there okay so firstly i'm going to go ahead and prime my skin and i'm just going to be using the elf poreless putty primer i just did a review on this so if you're curious i'll go ahead and link that below so the foundation i'm going to be using is the nars Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Now, typically the way that I would apply this is by dotting it all over my skin, but because we're testing to see if this absorbs less product, I'm just gonna pump some out on my hand, pick it up with a sponge and apply it that way to see how it distributes the makeup. So I have about two pumps right here and I'm gonna go in with the AOA blender first. I applied about two pumps of my NARS foundation. This did um, absorb quite a bit of product. I still love this blender, but you can see there's a lot that actually got absorbed by the sponge. So next I'm gonna go in with the microfiber blender and I'm gonna do the exact same amount, two pumps. And let's go ahead and see. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I don't know if you guys could tell, but this literally like stamped on the foundation. Like it applied a very full coverage amount right away. Had I known, I would have probably picked up a little bit less, but I definitely saw much more of the foundation distribute onto my skin with the microfiber blender. It's weird, when I actually take it off my hand, it feels almost like a little towel, like rubbing it off of my skin where this does feel like it's like absorbing a lot of the makeup. This almost feels like I'm swiping it off. I'll try to do like an up close comparison between the way these two actually apply the products, like picking up the same amount of foundation, how they apply to the skin and the difference. 
because I do feel like the microfiber side applied a lot more foundation. This blender is very easy to use. I feel like it's blending everything out really nicely. I was kind of nervous because it's more firm that it was gonna feel really harsh on the skin or just feel like I was beating myself up, but it really doesn't. It's still bouncy enough to I don't know, really conform to your skin and kind of press the product in, but firm enough to where it keeps it really precise and the concentration of the foundation really high because it is a little bit more firm on the skin. I don't know if you can tell, but when I'm looking in the mirror, I can definitely see that there is more foundation on this side of my face than this side of my face. Now, mind you, I have a little bit more scarring up here, so it's not totally symmetrical, but even when I look at my forehead, just across like my cheek area, I can definitely see more makeup sitting on my skin on this side. So in that respect, this does work in terms of absorbing less product. I found that there's a much more full coverage application of my foundation using this guy. So to even everything out, I'm just gonna apply a little bit more NARS foundation onto this side. I'm kind of shook right now with how well that worked. I don't even use that word. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is not my favorite for concealer. Even though I feel like it's soft enough for the rest of my face, I feel like for my delicate eye area, it's just a little bit too firm. Plus because I have a lot of like caking in that area and dryness going on, I feel like I like something that has a little bit more water in it to add some moisture where this just kind of feels like dry against my skin. And I actually do prefer the Paw Paw regular blender over the microfiber for the under eye area. Number one, because it's a little bit softer, so it's a little bit more gentle, plus it's a little bit more flexible at the tip to kind of really work in like the inner corner and areas like that. But I do feel like the Paw Paw side, my concealer looks a little bit more seamless and natural, where the microfiber side, it looks a little bit more obvious and cakey. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and use the chiseled microfiber blender. And for this, I'm gonna use it to blend out my cream contour. I don't really contour, so I'm just gonna be applying stuff to my face and using this and seeing how it works. That's pretty much what's gonna be happening. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit here. I like to bronze my skin, but I'm not much of a contour person. Okay, I feel like it's a little bit stronger on one side, so let's try to even it out. I'm gonna go blend this out. I'm not sure if you guys even see anything. I personally don't. But let's go ahead and try on this side. Hmm. Okay, so you can probably see a very subtle difference on my skin, but this worked really well with cream contour. It did not erase any of the makeup. It's a little bit more work to blend it out because it's a little bit more firm, but this does retain a lot of coverage. So for a cream contour, I have to say this guy is a winner. Okay, so I went ahead and finished up my makeup and here is the finished result. Now looking in the mirror, it looks kind of close to one another, but I can see that there's a little bit more heavier coverage on this side of my face versus the side I use the regular blender on. Definitely on my concealer area, I feel like it's a little bit more like, hello, how are you? I'm here and I'm creased. Overall, I'm very pleasantly surprised by these blenders. I really kind of thought they were gonna be a gimmick and not work or not blend, but they really did do a good job. For reference, I feel like I probably could have just used maybe one and a half pumps of foundation with the microfiber, where with this, I was using closer to three. Now the flip side of that is that they are a little bit firmer. You may not like them in more delicate parts of your face, such as your under eye. Um, and if you like something that's like super flexible, you probably still would prefer the regular blender. I think on the daily, I would still reach for this guy because I do like something that looks a little bit more natural. And I feel like this does a better job of actually spreading the product across the skin in a very like, seamless, natural looking way, where this guy almost kind of acts like a stamp in the beginning, like it just feels like you're stamping your face with foundation and then you can go in and blend it. But I think for those nights 
where I really wanna bump up the coverage or I know I'm gonna be filming and I want something that's gonna save me time and of course save me money because I'm not using as much foundation this is definitely a good one to go to even if you just want to use it as like your base layer and then maybe use something like this over top i still think that this is something worth having and i feel like the chiseled one is somehow my favorite because i was so impressed with the way it blended out that cream contour color but it didn't erase any of the color it didn't like wash it out it really kept it exactly where i wanted it which i think is pretty cool so that is it guys i'd love to know if you have tried these out and what your thoughts were let me know in a comment below otherwise if you enjoyed this review please be sure to give the video a like if you're new to my channel definitely don't forget to subscribe otherwise thank you guys so much for watching i love you so much and i'll see you next time